to have you join us on another episode of Art House. I'm Melinda Akinlami. Let's check out our lineup for today. Hello, Sally Sue. What is going on? <coughs> Laila Hilalau. He has been appointed Sorry. as Califan Tijania. The drama surrounding the removal of the former Emir of Kano, Muhammadu Sanusi II, is performed simultaneously in Lagos and Abuja. Then at the Nike Art Gallery, these artists are in the spotlight. Technology and arts meet at the launch of Techno's Camon 19 Modern Edition. That and more after we hear from our wordsmith for this week, who is appreciating the beauty of blackness. Our wordsmith for this week is titled The Beauty of Blackness by Mecca Indibam. My black is beautiful, naturally resilient. I persevere, stand tall, and fight to the end. I don't give up. I am a go-getter by nature. I am stronger than most. I am unstoppable, fearless, and confident in my capability. Whether celebrated, imitated, exploited, or denigrated, whether natural from inside or skillfully applied, my black is beautiful. I am not afraid to expose my melanin to the world. My black is made out of brown sugar, honey and cocoa, firstly popping on purpose. Being black is a reflection of a mental attitude. When I look in my mirror, my very soul cries out, my black is beautiful. For as long as I am black, I am historic. Black is poetic. Melanin is an incomparable beauty. Every shade slays unapologetically black. Thank you, Emeka, for celebrating the beauty of the black skin. Now to our first feature, Emia Sanusi, Truth in Time is a stage play written by Professor Ahmed Yerima, which captures the life and times of the 14th monarch in Kano. It was performed simultaneously both in the nation's capital and in Lagos, but we caught up with the one performed at the Muson Center, Lagos. <laughs> The hall at the Muson Center Lagos is packed with a mix of the young and old, anxious to get a feel of the intrigues behind Emir Sanusi, Tooth in Time, which is a slice of what happened before the dethronement of the 14th Emir of Kano, Muhammadu Sanusi II, on March the 9th, 2020. Oh Allah, the blind I saw and smelt raw blood stained darkness all over again. And the piercing ray of light that comes from within is darkened slowly by the impending perilous pathways of author disaster. The author, Professor Ahmed Yarima, doesn't delve into the wranglings of the palace directly, but begins by showing the different issues that have been hugging the headlines in northern Nigeria, from insecurity to child marriage, among other matters. I remember. Since the wife you really wanted was never sent from Zender, I became the perfect victim. After all, you bought me at the age of four. And at the age of nine, you turned me into a pouch to bear you a child. I even gave him my breast to suckle. And when it was time to crystallize the false oath of my freedom from your prison, you turned me into a common slave. The story is told from the perspective of a retired palace guard, Dalihu, who has a frosty relationship with his wife. Wallahi, Narense, you, Dahiru Mohammed, you know me. When I promise, I keep it. And when I speak, Allah listens. 
You have abused the very bit of my womb. Hey, hey. A thousand curses on your damn soul. Zainab, Zainab, Papa, for the sake of your son. Son? But the arrival of their son, Shaibu, a palace guard who had served the deposed Emir of Kano, is welcomed with excitement as he narrates what transpired. Tell me, son! Tell me! What happened to Emir? They killed him! No, may Allah forbid! They, as I mean, they struggled him in his sleep? No! Did the police not come with guns and leave him away? Yes, under the cover of smoke. Did you hear gunshots? We had his here too. Yes, Baba. I was there while I but ah, they, they have killed him. <laughs> that is why you hesitate. My ah, age for the why Yalina. Baba! Why Allah? Why? They have killed another son of Fodio. They have killed them all. Baba, Baba. the Emir is well, huh? but they have taken him out of town. He has been removed, but we have a new Emir now. La, 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 la. Who? Aminu Ado Bayero. Aminu? The Emir of Bichi, eh? who is now the new Emir of Kano. So fast? They don't want a vacuum. But so fast as if, well, Allah must have given a nod to this. May it reign long on the throne. Amen. So, who had a hand in this? Who did the devil, the devil use this time? Nobody. Nobody. But everyone had a fingertip ah. soiled with red palm oil. Ah. Nah. It was all so fuzzy. They shifted all their personal guilt on Allah. Nah. Even I considered myself the biggest fake. I had failed the man I had sworn to protect with my life. We had to face our displacement. All the same, we were welcomed. So what happened? For one second, hmm. his shoulders dropped. How about? His alkaba shifted. No one could move to adjust it. Subhanallah. And we stood in pains, transfixed with tense eyes. We shook our heads, and in our hearts, we sent a thousand curses to his enemies. Mm. Now, tell me, what were the developments that were taking place in the palace, son? They returned to the old five provinces. Uh -huh. Kanu, uh -huh. Ranu, uh -huh. Bichi, uh -huh. Karaye, and Gaya. Uh -huh. It was to decentralize the power of the Emir. Uh -huh. Make him look more ordinary and less majestic. Baba, Kanu is just a common number out of five. What? The man for whom all have gathered insists he will continue to stand with the people and speak truth to Pa, no matter whose ox is gored. Now the question which everybody's asking is, should Amir speak? And the answer is yes. And it depends on what Amir you are and what you're speaking on. I mean, Socrates said, wise people speak because they have something to say. Stupid people speak because they have to say something. But if you have something to say, you have to say it. And I never agreed that anyone could tell me, given my background, that I was not qualified to speak on the economy. The play, stayed simultaneously in Lagos and Abuja, is written by Ahmed Yarima, a professor of drama at the Redeemer University, Ogun State, and produced by Joseph Edgar, Executive Chairman, Duke of Shomolu Productions. Lovely performance there, really interesting. Now to our next feature. Techno is not just a provider of technology, it is now a brand that takes new heights in the creative sectors such as fashion and arts into technology. This is seen at the launch of the Techno Camo 19 Modern Edition, which took place at the African Artists Foundation in Lagos. Technology, music, art, fashion and entertainment meet at the launch of Techno Mobile's latest baby, the Camo 19 series Mondrian Edition, in this premium event themed Tech Meets Art. A stage 
generally where lifestyle is not just about pictures and you know images about telling a story and um, at meeting tech through the techno uh, launch is everything that you have to hear about this and i like that you know people are not just central with one thing arts um travel food you know there's also that thing that talks about the um evolution of life's evolution of art and you know meeting tech is like a big deal so yeah Techno, the global smartphone brand, is working with the African Artist Foundation for the unveiling of the first smart device with a unique back panel that changes color when exposed to light, creating a device that is both artistic and intuitive. The company's brand manager, Luke Pan, is joined by its brand ambassador, singer, songwriter, Tiwa Savage, to unveil the aesthetic Camon 19 Mondrian edition. The device is built with creativity at the zenith of its expression as it comes with a super night mode camera and quad flashlight for users to create superior videos without worrying about blurred backgrounds or dull colors. We believe in quality and as a result of intensive research of what people need, we won't just go out of our way to do devices that you don't need. So Techno is a brand that has people in the smart. At the same time, doing device, coming with the best technology, with the best technology that you can get anywhere in the world, global standard, and then giving it at an affordable price. So that's what I've been able to sustain us all this while in the market. And as you can see, what we're having today is going to be another successful device in the market. I can tell you that because it has never been done before. This is the first time we're merging tech with art. At the same time, we're tapping in from nature, which is the sun. I really, really love the slickness of the phone. I love the design and um, I look forward to more with the brand in the future. Surrounded by works of art provided by the African Artists Foundation, the visitors get the opportunity to create their Mondrian-inspired art at this SIP and paint corner. The African Artists Foundation is at the cutting edge of contemporary visual culture and um, techno have always been at the edge of making phone democratic and accessible to every, everyday people. And um, we're interested in contemporary, yeah. we're interested in art, we're interested in artists making work. And it's a wonderful opportunity for us to bring these energies together in the contemporary visual arts, in the contemporary world today. There are no real boundaries between say music, literature, um, photography, painting because the technology has made all of these things possible on the smartphone. And so with the Technophone, you can actually create all of these iconic ideas and all of these brilliant creative ideas in your hand, on your phone, and anyone can do it. Not just um, artists that have a huge talent with a, a lot of experience. Kids can do it, young people can do it, journalists, anyone can use it and make art, so it's a really fun thing. Expect more technological innovations like this one, where we have, um, so we because we are focused on um, giving our customers um, cut, um, a cutting edge technology at affordable prices. So expect more from us, um, expect more um, innovations, expect more um, cutting, uh, cutting edge technology. And um, because we are, we are focused on this because we know that our customers' needs are insatiable. So we try to give them cutting edge technology. Um, technology. So um, I'm sure that we're going to, we're going to release more um, mind-blowing mind devices in coming soon. Expanding its global reach and focusing on premium services by incorporating art into its mobile devices, transforming them into creative technologies, that's what Techno Mobile is showing with this new edition. Let's take a moment now. Art House returns with an exhibition and your works of art posted on our various social media platforms. Do stay with us. And these are the works of art you sent in this week. Let's 
begin with Childhood Series. It's a newsprint on canvas work done by Richmond Ajay. Then Chijoke has this black pen on paperwork called My Smile, My Personality. Then Olufemi Adedeji has this digital artwork called Ancestor 30. The Helping Hands is an oil on canvas work by Falope Ibrahim. First Date is an acrylic on canvas work done by Adekunle Mayowa. Bilo Tobi is saying, I'm shy, with this color pencil on paperwork. Oinola Fajobi has prestige. It's a sculptural piece done with metal knots. Tai Wu is showing us the unity in strength with this charcoal and pastel pencil on paper piece. Which concludes our works of art for this week as we encourage you to keep them coming and put your best foot forward as always. does not need anybody to exist. A group of artists are in the spotlight. That's how they tag their exhibition at the Nikkei Art Gallery in Lagos. Works of art done by two artists, Ovie Smart and Ayola Omovo, enjoy their day in the sun as they are displayed at the Nikkei Art Gallery in Lagos. Spotlight is just to single out each artist that is associated with Nikkei Art Gallery. The exhibition is like what I did not really plan for though. Yeah, but the, the, work, the works has been ready for quite some time. Yeah, because for some time, of three years now, I've been a resident artist with the Ninke Art Gallery and we've been working for the past three years. And when mommy told me that, look, some of these work, those works, all the works have not been shown. All the works I've done for the past three years, have been, have, none have come out. So this is the first moment said, let's spotlight some of those work that we have done. Let's put them on the spotlight. Amovo is a 2006 graduate of Fine and Applied Arts from the University of Benin with a previous diploma in Arts and Design, obtained in 2002, from the Institute of Technology in Oregon, Lagos. The Vice Chairman of the Society of Nigerian Artists, SNA Lagos, takes a unique approach to her paintings. I come out um, uniquely with my black and white that signifies strength and life. When there's life, there's hope. 
then the black tell you that we are strong, no matter how the women are so strong out there. So give it up for the women. I really congratulate Ayola. It's clear that she has taken her time and skills to kind of interweave photography and painting, and I find her work just fascinating. While Mr. Smart, a national diploma holder in general arts from the Yaba College of Technology, Lagos, is a woodcarver and renowned bronze sculptor, whose sculpting skills extend to other mediums like fiberglass. I do sculpting, I do every major, uh, uh, every part of sculpting. I do wood, I do bronze, I do fiberglass, whatever medium that is sculpting, I'm a sculptor generally. Um, SMART has been exhibiting in different artists. He's our artist in residence for this year and last year. And his work also has won awards. They are going to uh, China now. The, his work was chosen. Ayola's work was chosen. Then we said we should let Nigeria know before they even go to China. They explain the unique thing about their works of art and the tales within. I try to read Gele literature because if you look at the Gele, there's two pointed, actually it's three, but the two pointed ones, they are horse's ear. You have to look at it in detail so you can see it. So it's Gele literature, you know, like, uh, what I like about women, women, they like to like portray themselves in grand style. Like, women like to do new things. And I just look, why is it going to be Gele? Well, at the course of working, though, I, I just uh, I saw that. I said, no, this is going to be different. Let me put, instead of just tie it like a regular gele, let me just put that horse here there. So that's why it's gele literacy. My inspiration comes from my environment, what is happening in my nation, and then um, the way people think. The expression in people's face and the, their reaction, you know, springs out a lot of things. Because when people are happy, it shows in their face. When they are not, you see it. When the nation is in good stability, you see it in the face of the people, their reaction, their attitude. So art speaks volume, and we visual art has to project that, both in politics and in every aspect of life. The Nikkei Art Gallery has been showing works of artists who are passionate about their craft, encouraging the growth of the Nigerian art scene. And there's more to look forward to, but that will be on the next episode of Art House. On the next edition of Art House. <music> Eleven young artists showcase their recent body of works at this exhibition titled Crossroads, organized by SMO Contemporary Art. We have a personal contact with Benedict Loronisomi's pieces at the Art Pantheon Gallery. We encourage you to keep liking, sharing and viewing our page so more people can enjoy the ever bubbly and ingenious art scene in the country. Your art house experience doesn't have to end when the show is not on television. Interact with us on our various social media platforms. See any edition of Art House on our website or YouTube page. Join our very interactive Facebook page by joining the group on Art House on Channels. We're everywhere. The curtain falls on this week's episode of Art House, but the conversation continues online as always. Just go to any of our social media platforms. You can view this and other episodes as well. And remember to share and like it so more people can enjoy the beauty of the arts. I'm Melinda Kinlami, encouraging you to stay safe and keep being creative.